Hello guys, and welcome to another game that I've decided to play. Um, it's called Omori, and it's a game about depression. I thought it would be uh, an interesting one to go uh, to go through because uh, yeah, I've already uh, gone through that part of my life. That part of my life that's been really bad and depressing. I'll turn some of the sounds down. Alright, so I'm going to hit new game here and start up a new game. And so... Don't worry, everything is going to be okay. Sorry about this, because I had a little look at it before. I'm sorry it's not full screen, but I don't know how to get it to full screen, no matter what happens. Promise me that we'll always be there for each other. Promise me. Welcome to White Space. This is more of... Huh. You've been living for here for as long as you can remember. Just a plain old white space. booted up your laptop. What would you like to do? Stare at the screen. You stared at the screen. What would you like to do? <laughs> Open my journal. Everything was okay. Spent time in white space. Everything was okay. Today I visited my friends, everything was okay. Ooh. That seems repetitive. Just like how depression actually feels, it feels like everything's repeating itself. The heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. A sketchbook, take a look inside. Okay. Are we summoning the devil or something? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. He's some, uh... Oddly, uh... Oddly disturbing ones, not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh my god. Tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. I need one of those. Meow. Waiting for something to happen. Something fell nearby. Oh, You got a shiny knife. And uh. Yeah, this is very undertale -y. This game is. 
A white door casts a faint shadow. Ah, blocks most of my screen. <laughs> what would you like to do? Open the door. Are we leaving the white space? We're actually going outside. Aubrey. Hi, Amori. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Hi, Amori. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Wanna play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. I just read the same thing again. Oh. Oh, whoops. Never mind. Oh, man. What the heck, Aubrey? You messed up all the cards. I'm winning, too. Hey there, Kel. No need to get angry. It's just a game after all. Don't give me that hero. You only say that because you were losing. Fair enough. <laughs> Why is Kel always so mean to me? You know the other day that good for nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room? Why would he do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? Oh, I know. Do you find my stuffed toy for me, Amori? Pretty please? Alright, fine, I'll find your stuffed toy. Tentacles poking out of the ground. You got a stuffed toy. Yeah, there we go. Is that? Could it be? Aubrey snatched the stuffed toy from me. Oh, that's just rude. Hey, Cal. Look, it's my stuffed toy. What the heck? Where did you get that? Oh, Maury found it. Lucky for me, I've got some real friends. Serves you right, Cal. You should know better than to pick on others. Aubrey started it. She's the only, she was the one who was making fun of me for the mole on my... On your... What? Aubrey? Fine. There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. Ah, oh, lovely. A cat shaped hole. Fluffy peep. A uh, fluffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. Nice. I thought it was someone familiar. Would you like to make toast? I would love to make toast, actually. I'm just wandering around aimlessly. A single bean on a plate. A baseball and a baseball bat. A blender. So many, so many thoughts. Sss, waiting for something to happen. You can't leave without your friends. Man, Aubrey always gets what she wants. Hey, Aubrey, I'm glad this all settled. Those two always seem to be bumping heads. Mari and Basil invited us to a picnic at the playground. Do you want to go see him? Sure. Alright, everyone. Let's go see Mari and Basil. We're going out some of our friends. Going out, Amori? Here's your allowance for today. You got 50 clams. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, fresh air at last. Gotta love that nature. Someone's missing. Well, let's go. Hey, wait a sec. Of course it's Aubrey. Help me up, guys, I'm stuck. 
Only if you say please. Okay, I'll stop this around and get me out of here. Okay, okay, fine. Hmm. Took you long enough. Well, sorry, princess. <laughs> Those two, honestly. Those two are great. Honestly, Kel is so me. <laughs> oh my god, Kel? But it sounds similar to Kel. Whoa! Mari Fazzle! <coughs> god, it's so early in the morning for me. <laughs> this is gonna be- this is so, like... <laughs> this is gonna be such a shit video. <laughs> oh, hello, Aubrey. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? Kel's being mean to me again. Oh no, not again. How could he? Psh, I'm not being mean. Aubrey's just being a whiny. <laughs> well, Kel, you just made a very convincing point. Now I don't know who to believe. Believe me. No, believe me. Settle down, you two. Why does it always have to be like this? Shut up, hero. Look at you. Look at you. Being all responsible. I really like that about you. <laughs> Come on, Mari. Come on, Mari. Not that. Oh, hero. You know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. While we were waiting for you guys, Basil and I were going through a photo album. Do you want to join us? Of course! After all, we are the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Basil, Basil, get a load of this! Come on, Basil, take a picture of me. Sorry, Cal. I only take photos of people when they least expect it. Fair enough. You like to take photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of the camera, right, Basil? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. Those are the moments I want to capture. <laughs> so, like, we just have to pretend you're not there. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could put it that way. Sure, I can do that. Do you want to show us your photo album now, Basil? Ah, oh, okay. But it's nothing amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe myself more. That is also me. I'm noticing elements of myself in this, and, uh... Yeah, this way we can all see. This game is very relatable. Let's see this. What's... Is that... Is that Aubrey and Amori? Uh... Yeah. Those are the girl hanging out. Um, that's Hero. Over eating a watermelon, because of course she is. Drinking. What's that? She also likes drinking milk from the bottle. I also do that. <laughs> For fuck's sake, this game is. This game is, uh. This game is, uh. Scaring me a lot <laughs> with how uh, how much <laughs> how relatable it is. Oh, I can wait. Hang on. I can just scroll through them.
Amori looks so depressed. And that. Then again, Amori looks depressed in all of these. Wait, hang on. I can read text on these. Amari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Amori and Kel are holding Mari's example. So pretty. Amori and Kel gave up and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Fair enough. Here is still making his flower crown. <laughs> Taking time, just like I would do. I have to admire his persistence. I mean, I'd just give up, honestly. <laughs> Everyone's eating watermelons. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on her face. Maybe someone should tell her. Nah, I don't think so. Kill drinking a bottle of milk. His favourite. Shouldn't get too close. Or it might get my camera wet. All these characters look the same, honestly, to be honest. <laughs> I'm getting confused with all of them. <laughs> Mari and Hero take a picture of us. <laughs> Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. Hero leaning in for a smooch. Kill looks so annoyed. <laughs> ah, brotherly love. Fair enough. We're having a picnic today. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. After eating, everyone fell asleep, except Hero and Mari. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. Kel said she took a picture of him. He, he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. That was definitely purposeful. All of our feet in a circle. Can you guess whose feet are whose? No, I cannot. I can't guess character the characters by their faces, let alone recognise their feet, as we've said. If I had to hazard a guess, these are Amori's feet. That's the only ones I'm guessing. But we have friends usually do a thing with like a peace sign. We all put our hands in the middle and uh, for the camera. Uh, yeah, basically. These photos are all so charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Mari likes to steal my camera sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Do you want to come hang out at my house? I just finished planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure, that sounds fun. Let's go. South of the playground, right? Yep, this is the way. Hmm. I think I'll sit this one out. You all go on and enjoy yourselves. But if you're ever feeling weary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I'll always have some refreshments ready. You can even save using my picnic basket. Blech! Picnic basket! English. Oh, thanks, Mari. You're always doing so much for us. Bye, Mari. We'll see you soon again. <laughs> so fun. Run along and have fun now. You know where to find me. I know, know how to save. Some nutritious candy. Would you like to eat some? No thanks. Would you like to save? I would love to save. I actually save. Oh no, I didn't. Save it to file one. Ooh. Okay. Hey, Amori, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans. To 
stay put for a while. Let's see what I mean soon enough. Hey, wait just one second, where do you think you're all going? You can't leave without joining us for a game of hide and seek. Stay and play with us, the more the merrier. You wanna play hide and seek again? But, you know how this turned out last time. Yeah, sorry about that. I think we're gonna have to pass. We're going to Basil's house now, so we'll catch up with you later. Not so fast, you guys trying to avoid me again? What's up with you two? Is it my face? My rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as boss. It's a good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. I wonder what that moron is up to now. Eh, good riddance. So, you wanna play hide and seek Basil? I can go either way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Amori. What do you want to do? Amori, Amori, my best friend! Come on, you know how to play with hide and seek, don't you? Yes. Heh, <laughs> that's what I thought. What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play. I'll round up everyone. Turn, huh? Okay, alright, Magus, here's the rules. We're gonna be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide and seek. Get some straws here. No, you just gotta pick a straw. I want the straws a straw. It's gonna be it. And we'll have to find everyone else. Sounds easy enough, right? I'm definitely getting the shortest straw, aren't I? You got our straws? Good. That's you, gonna be it. Short stories. Omori! Oh, Omori, is it? But Omori doesn't like to be alone. Are you going to be okay, Omori? I can take your place if you want. I don't mind, really. Hey, I hear you plotting over there. The straws make the rules, not me. Come on, don't be babies. It ain't so bad. Omori will be fine. Can you hear these play what? Up to the ten of. Tell them all, pole, and close your eyes. And no peeking or else. Okay. This is gonna be... This is gonna be where things change, isn't it? Where a dark turn is taken. Two. One. Go. Amori! Psst, Amori! I'm right here. Hey, buddy. Oh, you found me. Now I can help you find everyone. Dude, just don't tell Billy about this. <laughs> Got it? Hello? Oh, you found me. Darn. <laughs> Let's go find everyone else together, I'm worried. Oh, huh? Where am I? <sighs> I was dreaming that I was a private beach with the servants fanning me with the palm tree leaves on every side. And suddenly, wham! Now oh, here I am. It's a fallen sea while hiding. Guess that's game over for me. Hello. Ah! Oh hey guys. You know, found a really good hiding spot but Sean and Ren invited me to join them in their exercise routine. It's fun. And good for you. You guys should really try this. <laughs> really, a workout. Oh man, I'm so tired. Wow, you really don't know how to say no to anyone, do you, Hero? Come on, Hero. We gotta help Mori find everyone else. All right, all right. I'm coming. Bye, Sean. Bye, Ren. This is fun. Yeah, let's do it again sometime. See you later. Little banana. 
Again, just like me, I don't, I don't really know how to say no to people. Ah. I'm already very good at saying no to people, so I will join in basically everything. Suspicious blue mailbox. Whisper, 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 whisper. You probably shouldn't disturb this. Okay. Darn, you found me. I guess that means I lose. You know what Happy would say right now? She'd say something like, Bangs, you should always try your best at everything. How else would people see how awesome you are? Next time, I guess. That was fun. Nose goes, shh, if you're too loud, they'll hear us. Nose goes, buttons goes. Ah, be quiet, nose. We're hiding, remember? Turns out, there's not many places to hide here for a guy my size. But it was still fun. As long as Burley's happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Boing, it's me, Happy. You found me. So that means I gotta do something else now. Oh, I know. I'm gonna count the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, W, D, U, O, M, um, O. <laughs> It's, uh, it's T, not O. <laughs> Very difficult puzzle. All the pieces are blank. Aha! We found you, butter nose. They found us. Nose goes. Oh, you, you know I can't say mad at you. Let's go play patty cake. They're all up here. I can talk to Mari. Hiya, Mari. See, everyone just says, stay a bit and play hide and seek. If you're having a hard time, I can lend you a hand. Big sister is always here for you. Huh? So, would you like some help? Nah. Yeah. Building blocks. A yo yo. What's the yo yo gonna be useful for? Alright. How are we getting more? We haven't won yet. Well, I know that, but like. Where am I meant to go? Probably should just stay there. Uh, can I move out? <laughs> Thank you very much. Eternal banana. Fair enough. A bunch of small toy cars. There's a straw in the ground, pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> Took your eyes long enough. Thought I was gonna suffocate in there. How'd you like my hiding spot? Pretty good, eh? Looks like you pretty much found everyone else too. Unexpected, but I like it. Let's do a final roll call. Ten, huh? Oh god. Charlene? Yeah. Michael? Mm. Oh, what gives? Happy? Yeah, yeah. Browse. Ah! Bangs. Yeah. Bun. Bun is here. Nose. Nose goes. Hero. Present. Cow. Ah. You really gotta do this every time, Burley. Hey, that was uncomfortable. Aubrey. Here I am. Huh? Where's Basil? That's strange. 
Sorry, some girl hiding in that tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil? You can come out now. You already won. Oh no. I knew something was gonna happen. <laughs> Hello, Basil? Hey, there's Basil. Is it really Basil? Are you okay? Ah, uh, are you stuck? <laughs> oh god. Oh, so I should have known it was you. You good for nothing scoundrel. The Basil girl. Yo, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil's our friend, don't you dare hurt him. I got a Basil box. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> you stupid heads. You think this is all about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. How dare you not invite me to hide and seek. I'm the one who showed you how to play in the first place. You're not even playing it right. How could you call it hide and seek without any body slamming? <laughs> oh god. My flower crown. Oh, don't worry, it's still in your head. <laughs> hey, that's the flower crown we made for Basil. How oh, could you? Let go of me, you bully. No. If I can't play with everyone, then no one can. This is a boss only zone now. And you're not invited. Time for a boss fight. Oh, the Morian friends do fight. Oh, God. Attack. What will Aubrey do? Uh. Skill. Uh, that's just all attacking. Why not? <laughs> you weaklings, you call that an attack? Hero takes 10 damage. Okay. What's. Sad poem. Wait. Sad poem. Oh. Oh, I can. I use a sad poem on. Okay. Keep attacking. That's Aubrey's skill. Pet talk. Okay. You know I feel like annoying him. Let's be let's be honest. He... Actually, let's an let's annoy uh, Aubrey because that's typically what he does. Hey hey. More damage. It's not fun anymore. Oh, I should have seen uh, hero skill. What's hero skill? Uh, cook. No. Don't need to. Alright, now you made me angry. It's time for my special move. Body slam! You took a hand with damage. You can taste. Oh! Oh, he did not succumb. Are oh, you still moving? Take him one last time. Moy's party was victorious. You gained 32 XP and got 22 clams. This is a fair rematch. I want a rematch.
Basil, you hurt. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Boss. It must hurt to see people have fun without you. That doesn't mean you can't ruin other people's fun. Hmm. I know that. There. Does that feel better? Basil, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing that Mori held on during that final attack. <laughs> oh, sweet, we've all been toast. Aha! Get it? It's okay, I trust him. When you're all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? Hmm. That's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear these lies. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> this is my spot. No one is welcome here. Well, he probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess it means we'll get to Basil House now. Sounds good to me. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. And off we go. Psst! Hey! Psst! You! Yeah! You over there! Um... Amoy? That mailbox is talking to us. Maybe we should go check it out. Yes. Yes. Hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. <laughs> Let's buy something. Buy some apple juice. I'm team apple juice. Orange juice is not good. Orange juice is not as good. Oh, Jax. Your small damage to all foes and reduces their speed. 25 juice. Let's get some candy as well. 10 crumbs. It's not what you wanted. Inflicts anger on a friend or foe. Wait a sec. You don't have enough clams for that. Then we'll buy another candy. Train station, pinwheel forest, Basil's house. Alright, well we know where we're going. A watering can. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Oh. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Oh, Basil's a great character. Whoa! What's that ugly pine creature? Don't you know, Kel? That's a sprout mole. Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures who become dangerously vicious when they're lost. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop that. You're stomping all over the flowers! Ah, looks like the Sprout Mole's angry! Like us, Sprout Moles also feel emotions. Since the Sprout Mole is angry, the attack is higher, but on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So just saying no, it's the perfect time to strike. Come on, Illinois. 
Let's do this. Uh, I am. I'm confused. Alright, so. Now's the perfect time to strike. So skills we can only use on each other. level two. Those the flowers are unarmed. That's a relief. Don't worry. Now that we're getting the hang of battling, here's a journal where you can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Here it gave you the faux facts journal. Yeah, now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with. But we might pitch in sometimes too. Check it out through your pocket in the player menu by pressing X. Honestly, I'm probably just going to skip ahead to, uh... Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sproutwell, stop twirling. You're destroying all the flowers. Oh, I see. The Sproutmore's happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spots and do more damage. This also means it has a higher chance of missing. I still don't see why we can't just all attack. So. Yep, it's dead. <laughs> we gained 18 EXP. We got four clams. We found tofu. That is pretty cool. Hmm. We seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong a weak an attack is. Happy beats angry, angry beats sad. And sad beats happy. So, in other words, anger beats sadness as an emotion. Sadness beats happiness. But happiness beats angriness. So, in theory, if you're sad, if something makes you sad when you're happy, you should make yourself angry and then try to make yourself happy out of it. I can't even drop a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. You got an emotion chart? No, I would not like to look at it now. I'm fine with it. I'm fine as is. So this one's just gonna be sad. Oh, not another sprout hole. It's all good, Basil. Get the hang of this by now. Sprout more seems a bit sad. See how it's killed up in the fetal position. It means it won't do as much damage as normal. But it also take less damage to heart and will lose juice instead. How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. So when they're sad, they're easy to beat. But I'm assuming when we're sad we'll be easy to beat. To be fair, this battle music is pretty good. <laughs> I 
I'm not usually a big fan of turn-based RPGs, but I was interested in this one. It is, it is quite fun, I guess. A party with Victoria. Aubrey, Kel, and Hero all grew to level 2. Hero learned massage. Hi everyone, you all just came just in time for a lovely picnic. Feel free to rest here. Everything's already set up. I even brought some fruit. Come on, Amori, have some fruit. Fruit is good for you. I'm gonna picnic and now. Would we like to save? Yes. That's probably what I'm going to call it, because we're about 45 minutes in. I might actually stream this at some point. So that way, then it makes a bit more of, like, an impact, and you guys can, like, see it. First hand experience, I guess. I think this is a better game to stream, honestly. So, that's where I'm gonna end it for here. I'll see you guys next time.